Good morning, traders. Well, US stocks were firmer on Wednesday with a reversal of yesterday's session. Uh, tech leading the charge higher with a recent rise in, in bond yields, uh, the, losing some momentum. So we saw lower yields uh, last night. So NASDAQ 100 was up over 200 points, has now entered a technical bull market, which is a 20% rise from the lows it set in December. Uh, another technical uh, pattern forming was S&P 500 closed above its 50-day moving average for the first time uh, since March the 6th. Uh, most of flow into tech was to the mega caps, so uh, stocks like Meta, Google, Microsoft all outperformed uh, the rest of the index. Uh, FX markets, US dollar was mostly firmer despite the improved risk sentiment. Um, this improving risk sentiment did see an unwinding of safe haven flows into the Japanese yen though, which, which saw a big move up in the US dollar yen pair, uh, which, which would have given a good tailwind to the US dollar across all pairs. Now, the Aussie and Kiwi dollars were the next worst performers after the yen. Uh, Aussie was dragged down by a much cooler than expected CPI figure yesterday, um, and this saw a lot of market repricing um, of, of the RBA's next move next week. Um, the outperformer was the Canadian dollar. Now, with some strong oil prices lately have given that a big tailwind. There's also some comments from the Deputy Governor of the Bank of Canada over, overnight uh, regarding their quantitative tightening program. Commodities, gold, was down slightly, held up pretty well considering US dollar strength and, and improved risk sentiment, uh, settled around just above 1960 US dollars an ounce level. Natural gas continued its downtrend and actually hit lows I hadn't seen since 2020. Uh, oil had a bit of a roller coaster ride up and after a week long bounce it um, was down a little bit. That was despite a large inventory draw as well, back to a $72 handle. Uh, economic announcements later today. Big one will be the US GDP figure. Um, this will be an important important one to gauge how resilient the US economy has been in, in, uh, in the face of this fairly aggressive Fed rate hike tightening cycle. So I wonder what should get the FX markets moving.